Hi, this is Maury here, and I would like to introduce you to the trailer I have available for sale. Uh, it's presently holding a 10,000 pound, uh, 27 foot sailboat. And as you can see, it's a gooseneck with electric brakes, and um, it's hot dip galvanized. So while for the most part, you're not gonna have any rust, you do have minor amounts of little stuff. And then of course, on add-on metal parts, you get some rust. Although this part doesn't have it, which is nice. Maybe it's been replaced over the years. Anyway, um, it has spare tire. Look at that, brand new with the line. It's got a lockable storage box, which is bolted down there. It's got room for a second spare. Uh, it has six of these uh, built-in supports. Notice how heavy duty the uh the metal is this is not a light trailer this is designed for heavy boats and uh these are adjustable and removable as you can see i have this one and another one removed um they were removed by just put it on for the photo there's a working ball there's a sideboards that could be removed so you could access the sides but not the bottom of the keel easily um as you can see the trailer the boat uh, I'm sorry, the tire is pretty much new in terms of its condition. Um, now, before this is moved, the week of April 11th, um, everything will be repacked and serviced. Um, normally in the past, the prior owner had his own pickup truck and moved it. Uh, but I recently bought this with the boat, and uh, so it will be hauled by somebody else since I don't have a pickup and uh, yeah you can just see this is just heavy duty solid it's got backup lights it's got a, a backup alarm or buzzer there um, of course your license plate holder I'd rather be sailing I'll leave that for you um, what else could I tell you it's just a nice trailer and you know, what's really, one of the things I've loved about it is, I don't know if I could show it from down here, but it has a platform up top there, which has been just a great way for me to work up on uh, the side of the boat, up in the bow area there, and the pulpit. Uh, also, with all the cross beams, I've rested boards across. I've moved a couple and cleaned it up to make it look good on the photo. But anyway, that's the general nature of it. It was made by a company called Tibbs, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce it. They're still in existence today. Actually, I talked to a guy recently who had just started working there his first week when they were building this trailer. <laughs> Back in, what did he say, 92 or 94 or something like that. They still had the blueprints hanging on the wall. Anyway, uh, if this is something that would help your dreams come true, so that you could take your boat home to work on it in a nice storage locker. So what I like about this is, as you can see, it's dry, it's protected. Um, it gave the prior owner and now myself time to gently work on it without having to deal with all the idiosyncrasies of weather, which, you know, has, <laughs> we had a lot of rain. Uh, I'm in Mississippi right now, Tyler Town, and uh, I will be launching it. Um, I will be ha having it hauled down the week of the 11th, April 11th, to Slidell area Lake Pontchartrain. And it will be available for pickup from that point. And you can see there's locks on the tires. and It's just an amazing boat, amazing trailer, I mean. So, uh, you know, you can build up the wooden support to raise or lower it for your keel. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, you could also see that, um, you know, if you had a keel that came forward a little further, it would probably be okay. Um, and this is with a 31 feet overall, a 27 foot boat, uh, 22 at the water line. Uh, so I'm just showing you this so you can get some ideas for your boat, uh, uh, how things fit. And as you can see, you know, the stern part doesn't even, except for the uh, right there um, at, the, at the shoe, it doesn't even get supported. So 
you know, if you went a bit over it, that would probably be okay. Although I don't know much about that. You'd have to, you'd have to know. So anyway, give me a call if you have any questions. I'd love to show it to you here, either here in Tyler Town or if it's still available once I get to Slidell. Ciao. 505-920-6460.